Hey there friends, I'm Hannah and this is my closet. Closet, this is YouTube, YouTube, this is my closet. This video is gonna have everything. Cool clothes, stories, maybe some food. Yeah, I don't know everything in my closet. This is like the main bulk of my clothes. Aside from a few things in the front, it is in rainbow order. It's just something I started doing when I was a teenager and I found that it made it a lot easier to get dressed and well, look at me now, apparently it's working. So, notable clothing. I like stripes. I've got vintage floral from pretty much every era. Like, just two years ago, I didn't have this much pink in my closet. It's growing on me. My kimono I've had forever. Green. Most of my graphic tees I have folded up in a drawer, but there are a few that like have snuck their way into my closet. There's this one with Bert and Ernie on it. I had to have been like 13 when I thrifted this, and I'm pretty sure it was just as faded then as it is now. And this one is obviously because of the Sheldon show. I actually did not know it was in my closet right now. Again, another find from when I was like 12 or 13. This is my Goosebumps shirt. And actually, it glows in the dark. Let me see if I can do it. Well, this video is taking an unexpected turn. Ooh, Goosebumps. So that's a really good shirt to wear if it's storming and you run to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you forget that you're wearing a glow-in-the-dark shirt and you pass the mirror and you're like, what the heck? Not that it's happened to me, but you know, I've heard stories. This shirt, oh my gosh, I have worn it so much. And it's one of those shirts that has like the seams on the outside, but then there's also the seams on the inside. And so I never know if it's inside out or not. Clearly the person who had it before me didn't know either because they cut the tag out, so they probably just wore it both ways. When it gets dirty, you flip it over and you wear it again, just like underwear. Who needs three different black dresses? Me. Well, look, even more black dresses. These are like the patterned ones, of course. More stripes. Ooh, gingham. Couple more graphic tees. This one says Bigfoot is my boyfriend because how can you prove it's not true? And my Breakfast Club t-shirt. Ooh, leopard print. Got my wedding dress collecting dust in the back of the closet. It's not really a wedding dress, it's just white and lace and I wore it for a wedding related thing. Another graphic tee, this one is Clarissa Explains It All. Clarissa is a huge influence on me when it comes to video making. Just the way she did things, he's amazing. And another graphic tee. This one is a member of the Midnight Society, which of course is another nod to Nickelodeon. Are you afraid of the dark? Because in the debate between Disney or Nickelodeon, I am totally a Nickelodeon kid. So that's like that stuff. Now this doesn't apply to YouTube because you can't see from the waist on down. But if you read my blog and you've ever wondered how I decide what shoes to wear, I spin the wheel of shoes, of course. Doesn't everybody? It's not actually very good at spinning, but it's pretty close and it smells like feet. After shoes comes ugh, earrings, because you totally see me wear a lot of earrings. So this is one of those pocket jewelry organizers. Notable earrings. A lot of the fancy pants jewelry ones I got at Walmart for a dollar in the last few months. Definitely check the Walmart clearance. These Barbie shoe earrings were the first pair I ever made when I was 14. They were like the gateway craft into wanting to make all my own jewelry. We still have so much stuff in so little time. And that brings us to the other side of my closet. This side has a little more going for it. This stuff is all like recently thrifted stuff or it's where I put outfits that are ready to go or just things that I feel like wearing. A good example of that would be this I just thrifted last week. So you'll see it in my May thrift haul at the end of the month. And this is something that I just really want to wear because I like it a lot. And then this is a completed outfit. And unfortunately we're already starting to get pretty warm weather so I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this until fall. Or I could just wear a turtle like and die. That's cool. And of course we've got the ugly shirts <laughs> and I did already wear one and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And now behind me is my super duper organization. We've got hats and they're hanging on one of those accordion peg boards. I feel like I always see them in grandma's kitchens. This thing has been in my family for forever. So on top is a little basket that I keep my belts in. And finally down below we have necklaces and these are not all of my necklaces. 
They're somewhat organized, uh, beaded, jeweled, pearls, but not like real pearls. Just like ordinary chain necklaces. Any of them that have flowers. Again, like these ones were from Walmart for a dollar. And then just other necklaces. You might recognize this guy because he's been getting around. 2016 is like the year of my parrot necklace. And the ticking is my oversized watch clock. And now the last thing in my closet is not exactly clothing related, but it's in my closet and I use it when I get dressed. The one thing I have to do while I'm getting dressed is listen to music. So for that, I've got a CD player. The cassette part is broken, so I just have like a separate cassette player. So high tech. I've got some cassette tapes, Lionel Richie from my last thrift haul. I've got a stack of CDs. This is of course Faith by George Michael, which is currently in my CD player. Next to that are my notebooks of magazine collage inspiration. Just people looking really good. And not all the time do I get my outfits from a magazine. Sometimes I just think of them all on my own. And when I do that, I usually will draw a little doodle of them so I can remember them later. And when I'm not inspired by doodles, I also have a doll. She wears this every single day and she inspires me to be the best outfit repeater that I can be. You go girl. So that concludes the tour. This has been What's in My Closet. Or at least what I could show you on camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to see more, and hopefully I will see you in future videos. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. I literally just got this at a garage sale today for free. And it's either a medieval torture device or it's a skirt rack or slacks or really anything you want to clip. Scarves, wigs, babies, I don't know. Your choice.